Hi, and welcome back to Bounce Board with me, Tiff Hall. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I'm recording this podcast, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to elders past and present. So when it comes to award seasons and photo shoots and things, all my listeners look at you and it's so glamorous and your lifestyle and everything. Do you do anything differently when it's coming up for a photo shoot or you're going to the Logies or you're doing something glamorous? Like, Not really. I I, I have all these ideas in my head. Like, for example, Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, I've been trying to do Dry July. Oh, yeah. Haven't had a day where it's been dry. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and I'm about to go to Bali. So, look, it's oh, fantastic! Happen. Yeah, no, yeah. go enjoy yourself. Yeah. So, you know, and look, I think if I was like younger, I would have been really down on myself about it. But you know, what's a glass of wine at the end of the night? Like, it's fine. It is fine. <laughs> Eighty so, twenty look, rule. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, so no, I haven't done that. Um, you know, I went and had, oh, do you know what I did? Mm. Cause I do dumb things like I'm going to try and laminate my eyebrows. So oh. I tried to do that yesterday. I went and got laminated anyway. Yes. They look ridiculous. No, so they I do don't. like a dumb stuff like that. Yeah. No, they're too dark. Try um, something so I did new. that. Yeah. Yeah. I always try something new right before Logies. Like one yeah. year I like tried some sort of treatment under my eye and I had <gasps> this like really bad reaction. So I had like dots all under my eyes. Oh, wow. But look, I'll do like, I've yeah. had the facial yeah. um, and I'll, um, I'll go and get like a laser facial two weeks beforehand. Yeah. Other than that, I've got all good intentions, but I think I'll just do what I do all the time. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome to hear, Ada. That's awesome to hear. So what's your favourite like hack or recipe or something that you've learned in the health space? Um, okay. So I always set a date with myself. Mm -hmm. So in the morning, like for example, this morning I knew like, it's always really busy on a Thursday morning because I've got the cleaners here. So like Mm -hmm. I always get ready for the cleaners. So if I don't book in a Pilates class where I have to go and leave the house in the morning, I'm not going to do it here. Uh So I'll book that in. So I know I can get to it. Um, or I'll book in to see it like to do a class with a friend. Um, great advice. Accountability. Yeah, 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 or I'll write a schedule out. I think if I write like a schedule out for the week, I'm more inclined um, to do it um, as well. Um, yeah, and I try and take a lot of like healthy snacks to work because I'm like a real snacker. Yeah, and if I get really hungry, I get really grumpy, and then I'll reach. For the, I literally, Me too. oh yeah, yeah, and I'll go for the donut yep. or the cannoli, or I'll always do the sugar thing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I have. I'm known to have snacks everywhere like oh, my that's handbag awesome. yeah 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 i oh, love snacks i love it do you have any advice for mums out there who are juggling it all because you're the ultimate you know you're doing so much busy mums oh. juggling what's your advice um ask for help mm-hmm. <laughs> delegate advice. Yep. um as well try not to be so hard on yourself and i'm saying that and like i am hard on myself but you know, I remember my therapist years ago said to me, well, would you talk to a stranger the way you talk to yourself? And I'm like, no, I wouldn't. No. So I always try and remember that. So just don't be so hard on yourself. Just be kind. Um, you know, if you've got a list of 10 things that you do and that you want to do in a day and you get three or four of them done, just pat yourself on the back yes. because at the end of the day, we just want to be there for our kids and, um, not be in a grumpy mood. Like I hate yeah. it when I'm in a grumpy mood for Jonas and it's not his fault that I've just decided to do way too many things in the day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I try and remember that. I don't always do this. Um, I, I've got a week off this week mm-hmm. and do you think I've sat down to read a book or rested at no, all? No, 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 no. you podcast. What are you doing? It, you should yeah, be resting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not stopped. I oh. have not stop so I'm you know I don't practice what I preach Mm. all the time um but um I'm hoping Bali resets me again and I learn to relax a bit more yeah it'll be so lovely so tell me about your children's book coming out you've got another one coming out yeah yeah so it's it's me and Megastar the Mm. second one's the juggling act and look they're such great books if I do say so myself um they're they're really cute and look it was so initially, Mia's inspired by um, my childhood. I grew up um, 
my my uncle had this like corner store delicatessen thing and it mm-hmm. was just in a time where um it was like this suburban place but it um you know we do like home deliveries and everyone knew our names and we knew their mm-hmm. names and you know mum would give them like the kids presents for christmas and it was just this like beautiful community store um and i quite i i, I miss that in life yes. like i miss that sort of you know uh, little community feel so um it's got that at it and also i always like wanted to be front and center i literally like dressed up <laughs> all the time and tried to put on shows like yeah. for whoever would watch um and listen so Mia is a, a little bit like me um also I wanted to write a book where um you know young ethnic girls have someone that they can maybe relate to um that looks a little bit like them and if they do want to somehow you know, get into the spotlight or even just start a drama club or even just for like a little bit of confidence. Um, I'm hoping these books do that, you know. So it was basically, it came from a place of just trying to sort of encourage young girls, actually, even though I don't have a girl. I just, I want to encourage young girls. Oh, I have a daughter and that just means so much. So thank you, Ada. So Ada, can you talk me through like your schedule on home and away, like what what what's a yeah. day? What does a day look like? Um, look, so a day can like start at say six in the morning at mm-hmm. studio. So if I'm at studio at six a.m., mm-hmm. um, if I'm at Palm Beach at six a.m., mm-hmm. I'm leaving home at four thirty in the morning. Wow. Um, so it's pretty pretty early. I'm really lucky that I've got my mum that lives close by, um, and so I have a lot of help from her. That's the best. Um, and and also my my ex husband sort of not far. Um, mm-hmm. As, as well so we share mm-hmm. Jonas that's my day and then it, I could finish like seven at night so um, or seven thirty at night so yeah, yeah Jonas um mum will pick him up or my brother or like I, I'm really lucky that I've got a lot of help mm. but what's happening now is mum's how dare she she's gone overseas for three months <gasps> oh, like oh when how dare she when mum yeah when they take time <laughs> off it's same with um my kids grandparents they've yeah. they've been to Japan and Bali and and I'm like how dare you I've got things on I need yeah. babysitting yeah, yeah 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 so what I'm doing this week in my week off is I'm training Jonas to try and walk to school by himself. Yes. Because it's in the same street, mm-hmm. and also to try and do his breakfast, and anyway, so that's a work in progress. And look, he's about to be twelve; and he's going to high school next yeah. year. So I think I've started late, but um, I'm trying to do that at the moment. But in saying that, I've still got neighbours that I'll call on. Like I think you just have to call on everyone. You yes, know, it's um, a village, isn't it? It takes a village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, and some days I don't have anything on, and it's fine. I can take him to soccer training and all that sort of stuff as well. But other days, um, yeah, I'm working all day, every day. And then I get wow. home and I've got to sort of get his dinner ready. Yeah, and, it doesn't um, stop. Yeah, well, he loves soccer. Well, actually, sorry, I've got to call it football because he won't let me call it mm, soccer anymore. Yes. Um, and he's a really active kid. And if Jonas can play soccer like all day, every day, that's what he wants to do. So I've become, you know, just one of the mums that has to, you know, kick the ball and, yes. um, you know, like a big goalie or – yeah, have to go to the park as well. Oh, the other thing he likes to do is like kick an AFL ball. Have you ever kicked an AFL ball? Yes, yes. It's hard. It's hard, isn't it? You kind of have to not- drop it on your foot at the right time. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. and I'm a little bit of a wuss, mm-hmm. so I'm not going to lie. And especially trying to catch it, yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't really catch them. I just like jump out of the way. But um, we're always at the park or outside doing that. Um. And my shins have always got bruises on it from the soccer ball. Oh, my God. Um, it, <laughs> she kicks oh. so hard. But, um, look, he is a really active kid, so we are That's always so doing stuff great. like that or bike riding. Yeah. Or, he's always, he always likes to be out. Yeah, well, I don't – I'm very strict with his screen time. Yeah. Um, so – um, if he's – yeah, he gets like 20 minutes a day and then after that he's either reading a book that or he's so outside. That is so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm trying my best, especially as he gets a bit older mm. and his friends aren't doing that. Yes. Um, I was even just – I just did an interview earlier and, and they were saying, oh, he must play Fortnite. I'm like, no, no, he doesn't play Fortnite. Yeah, like, the my game rule is, thing, that's so hard. I'm approaching that yeah. with my son. He's seven and yeah. all his friends are playing games but he's not and he's feeling isolated yeah. but I don't know what to yeah. do. 
Well, see, I always say to Jonas, you can play Mm age-appropriate games. Mm -hmm. So what's your age, buddy? Oh, I'm about to turn 12. Okay, Mm -hmm. so when you're 12, what's up to 12? Anything. But what about if it says 14? (gasps) No, 14, you can't play. So. Um, he plays FIFA. He loves yes. FIFA. He like he plays Formula One because he's a Formula oh. One fan as oh, well. Okay. So yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. So they're just age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's hard to. It's like, really honestly. hard with the screen t- time thing. I'm really. He's only seven, and I'm just freaking out. Thank you oh, so thank much you. for joining me on Bounce Forward today. You're absolutely you, awesome. Tiff. I'm the biggest fan. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Tiff. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you.